day, everybody. We are going to make pumpkin pie. Check, sweet potato pie. I've been calling it pumpkin pie all day. Um, we are going to make sweet potato pie and answer some questions that I got. I did a Q&A on my Instagram like a month ago and I said that we were going to carve pumpkins and answer them, but we don't feel like carving pumpkins because it's cold outside and we don't want to make a mess in the house. So baking is what we're going to do and it's going to be a little, I was going to say wine time, but he has a cocktail, but anyways, cheers. So wine, cocktails, sweet potato pie, and questions. So let's get started. Okay. Yay. All right, what's the first thing we gotta do? So first thing we gotta do is mix the butter with the sweet potatoes. Okay, do we need to use this? Um, I think so, yes. All right. So the recipe we found wasn't really helpful with how many sweet potatoes, it just says a pound, so. And I Googled it and it said two medium sweet potatoes or, okay. no, two large sweet potatoes, yeah. Yes. Or three um, medium sweet potatoes. And we don't really know if ours are medium or large, so we just used all three and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> yes. Have a cup of butter, soften. So not melted, just let it set at room temperature for a little bit. Between, <laughs> between one and three, I don't know how it is to have my own kid. So I don't want to commit and say three, but if all goes well, I think I'm willing to go up to three. I feel like once people have a fourth kid, it's like, wow, you have a lot of kids. And no shade to my grandma, because my grandma has four kids. But when I see people now that have four kids, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I always forget that they have that fourth kid. So. Three is my max. I know that was a really long answer, but let's do this. Uh, my max would probably be around five, maybe six. You know, the more the merrier, more family oriented, the more you have. So that's how I feel. Big family is pretty interesting, I think. You have a lot of different personalities to mesh together. But I want at least two. I will settle for three, but we need at least two. One. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can't can't be one child. So are we doing sugar next? Do we need to keep using this while we mix? Yeah, keep mixing. Okay, so we have to do one cup of sugar. I'm gonna let Walter do that so that I can read the next question. anywhere in the world where would it be um, and why you want to go answer that first sure um I will be stationed anywhere in Japan because I love ramen I love sushi and I love Jap Jap uh, Japanese anime so all of that is perfect for me I think Japan would be a beautiful place to stay I love ramen and sushi as well but um, I would want to be there for the culture because I can have ramen and sushi anywhere. <laughs> I would want to explore. Uh, if I could pick anywhere, though, you do your you keep mixing while I think. I don't know. I don't think I have a particular place. I think it would just be anywhere in Europe because you know Germany sounds really cool, Italy sounds really cool, uh, but then again. There's places in England that, you know, there's bases in England. So, um, I don't know, just abroad, not America. <laughs> That's my answer. Anywhere but America, like anywhere. Japan, or if it wasn't America, Hawaii. Yeah, Hawaii. Yeah, that'd be cool to just live there for a little bit. Well, yeah, I mean, Alaska's all right, but 
it's cold. Like, it's cool. I, I think I'm grateful to be here because I know it's short term. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very beautiful in Alaska. So. Here. I like that important Okay. Yeah, right. So, we're doing a. Half a cup of milk, but Walter decided that he wanted to do evaporated milk because he thinks it'll taste better. So, a lot sweeter. And then two eggs. They say large eggs. Show them there. Where at? Yeah. I can't see it. Yeah. Ew. Two large eggs. Okay. Let me put everything in. So two large eggs and nutmeg. I don't know how many like tablespoons this is. I think what? it's half, it's supposed to be half a tablespoon, teaspoon, half a teaspoon. But I did a little bit more because I find that when things say a certain amount of cinnamon or nutmeg, I can't taste it if I don't put a little bit extra. Why are you wanna, you didn't find this recipe. This is not for you to adjust. I am a baker, so. You, you never bake That's what bakers do. Wait, they adjust things I, to what they think will taste best. But you never made sweet potato pie. Whoops. <laughs> She's not gonna eat any of it. That's the crazy That's part. That's not true. You better eat a slice. I will eat a slice. <laughs> Okay, so where is one place that you would like to travel as a couple and why? And what makes this place so special over any other place in the world? Do we have a place that we like always talk about? I don't think we have a particular place that we talked about going, but the only thing that can come to mind right now is Greece because you talked about it both in Greece before. Yeah. So. Is that where you want to go though? How about we answer how, where we would want to go individually with each other and why we would want to take one another there? Do you need to think about that? Do you mm -hmm. need to think I'll finish like... I need to think. Okay. I need to think too. Hmm. Can I answer? If so, go first. Okay. I think I'm going to stick with Greece only because it is a place that I personally have always wanted to go. I've always wanted to combine Italy and Greece. I've been to Italy, um, and I just think that it would be really cool slash romantic to go with Walt, because I went with my mom the first time. So that kind of combo trip with Italy and Greece would be amazing, just because it's a place where it's a completely different culture. Walt and I have never gone to a place like that besides like going to like Alaska, but still, that's still America. Um, and it's romantic and it's a place where, at least Greece, it makes me feel like it's a place where I would never want to have my phone on me. A place where you can just relax and unwind and disconnect. And I think married couples need that. They need a time. I mean, you should probably make that time that time for you and your spouse on a regular basis, but especially with vacations, I think it would be important to slow down and focus on one another. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay, that's a good answer. Um, Thank you. I think I want us to go to Bali, because we talked about going to Bali multiple times, and we kind of like tropical places, mm -hmm. so. And Bali is a very beautiful place. It's a very beautiful place. It's not expensive when you get there. It's just a plane ticket to get there. A plane ticket is like over a thousand dollars. But once you get there, it's very beautiful. They have a lot of a lot of tropical things, a lot of things you can do outside. And I think we've become one with nature. So that'd be cool. We've always talked about doing Bali and Thailand in one trip since they're kind of close to one another. Mm -hmm. Would you want to do Thailand as well? Or of just course. Yeah. They're right next to each other. Look out two birds. They're the right time. next to each other. Like they're still a few hours plane ride, yeah, but right. compared to where we are, they're right next to each other. <laughs> What's next? Question wise or ingredient wise? Ingredients wise. 
we're going to add in the cinnamon. Okay. Chris, I'm like, get my, <laughs> I'm gonna inhale it. What's the right. next question? It's next question, thing. yeah, let's, let's read in the thing, that's so smart. What is the wildest thing you two would do for 5,000, 100,000, $1 million? I don't know, do you wanna answer for all those numbers? Okay, 1 million, I do like almost anything. So mm -hmm. we wanna break it down to like reality. We're gonna do 5,000? 5,000, because okay. people think 5,000 isn't a lot of money, but that's pretty solid. It's like a whole vacation. <laughs> True. And some. So. Do you wanna think? Or yeah, let me think a little bit. do for $5,000. Okay. For example, hmm. Would you cut off all, all your hair for $5,000? What would this haircut look like? Would I like have like, like a little mini fro? Yeah. Or would I be bald? I mean, who was that woman named? Amber Rose? No. <laughs> she, she pulled that bald head off like it's, like it's the style. Not for five, no. <laughs> okay, okay, would you keep a fro for 5,000? I guess like a little. I little might, little. I might do a fro for, for 5,000. Like a little, dollars. like, I'm gonna say about three, four inches of hair. Yeah, I might, I might do that. I can't even say that I would, but definitely not, you're not putting a razor to my head by any means. My hair is a part of my personality. I refuse. I mean, you guys know just by looking at my YouTube profile picture, it's, a drawing that I made of me, but it's just my hair. <laughs> like, I mean, five thousand dollars can go to Greece. Like, five thousand dollars, I can get a plane ticket to Greece. I can't do anything in Greece once I get there. <laughs> I don't know. Plane tickets might be a little cheap right now with everything going on. I don't even know if Greece will allow us into their country right now. It'll be a good down payment to go to Greece. Okay. <laughs> what would you do for five thousand dollars? Hey, you tell me. I do almost anything. <laughs> really? Well, Give okay. an example of something you would do. It's the wildest thing they said. So what's the wildest thing you would do for five thousand dollars? Give me an example, and I'll tell you if I do it. I don't know. I can come with an example for myself. Um, would you go bungee jumping for five thousand dollars? I do it for free. If they give me the money to go do it, I need something wilder than that, Nikki. Bungee jumping is terrifying. I would never. Imagine the bungee jump snap, you crack and break your head, break your body, break your life, you're dead, it's gone. <laughs> um, would you go skydiving? I know it's like on the same level, but I remember once you told me you wouldn't go skydiving. So I, I did say that, I will go skydiving. You will go skydiving now? Yes. Um, would you run through an Air Force base naked? Would you run on the flight line? With clothes on or without clothes on, but would you run on the flight line? Cause let me tell you, that's very illegal. So. For $5,000, would, would, would you run? Would you run, would you run naked on the flight line? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it as extreme as possible. I refuse, I'm going to jail. <laughs> I will not go to jail for 5000 But the 5000 could get you out of jail and then you could say you ran on the flight line. Not in the military, would you? <laughs> not in the military, so okay, I so run on the flight line. We gotta think of something a little less crazy then. I would. Would oh, you run on base naked? If I know I'm not gonna get. Okay, so this is what I would do. I would run butt naked all around my neighborhood at nighttime because I don't want kids out there. True. Because I get in trouble because of kids. We gotta care about the kids. <laughs> but if you take the kids out of the equation, I would do it. No problem. Even if someone calls sexo on you? They won't know it's well. Yeah, they won't know it's me. Why wouldn't they, are you gonna wear a mask? What about when you run into the house? They're gonna know what house you live in? <laughs> no, they're not gonna see me. I'm gonna like come through the back. And then they're gonna come back on the door. I'm gonna be like, nobody's home. And I'll be good. Sounds like a bulletproof plan. <laughs> but um, running on the flight line in general, I, I would run on the flight what line. What if they, don't you? No, you're, you're not allowed to. You're gonna like die, like they're gonna cheat down. 
No? Mm -hmm. Well, well you can, but they won't kill you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not allowed around. Okay. What's the next thing? It's just either mm -hmm. one of these? Yeah, do one on them. Is and this? It's, this is vanilla. Yeah, have you seen any chunks take them out? Okay. Chunks aren't good. Mm -hmm. and you can take them out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I promise I have clean hands. Even if you do, we're the ones eating those, so. <laughs> I know where his hands have been. <laughs> okay. His hands have been in the sweet potato pie, guys. I'm just kidding. Sorry, Mom. Mom. <laughs> you the bowl for I didn't realize. I'm sorry. Fine. Okay. okay, so next question. What, what did I say this was? This is vanilla. No. It's a whole teaspoon of vanilla, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Something like it. Just put some in. It's a teaspoon of something, whether it's half or a whole. Okay, if you were stuck on a deserted island for 72 hours, what would you bring? And it cannot be another person. Are we together? No, it's just you by yourself. I say you can't bring another person. Um, do you need a Oh, no. I don't do that. If I'm deserted and I can only bring one thing on this, a deserted island, what do you give me water in three days? If I can have water, I can go three days without eating. Like, boom, I'm, I'm living, I'm That's alive. That's so smart. But now you gotta come up with something different. I know. So, I would bring watermelon. I don't even like watermelon. I got sick off of it when I was a kid. But watermelon serves two purposes. It serves the purpose of being food as well as being water. <laughs> or coconut, which I also don't really like. I feel like I would tolerate watermelon more than I tolerate yeah, coconut. coconut is I don't really like coconut. I'm not with it. But either watermelon or coconut because they serve two purposes. Very nutritional. I kind of want to say coconut only because if you crack open a coconut, there will be literal water you can like, you know, like, like you I'm not sip. trying to be funny, but like, just because you ask for a coconut, that don't mean you have something to open that coconut up with. And if you're going to depend on a rock. Is there only one thing I can bring? One thing. So, well, either way, a watermelon or coconut. Which one's easier to, I think a watermelon's easier to break, isn't it? Yeah, a lot easier. Watermelon. Final answer. Good answer, good answer. Thank you. Next question is on you. Okay. Oh, shit. I guess I'm not wrong. You're okay. Who's got the better dance moves? Mm. Well, I don't mean to brag, but. <laughs> you're talking, you're cringy. <laughs> um, I think I have the better dance moves, but I don't actually know because Walter refuses to dance. Ever. I mean, he dances with me, um, but we've never really like tried to like have like a dance competition. You know, it's always been we're either slow dancing or being silly together. What is this? I forget. I want to put a little lemon in. Oh, it's lemon. It's blood. A little hint of lemon. A little taste. Um. So who has the better dance moves? Don't get me wrong. Nicole can dance. She's from the Caribbean, so I mean, it makes sense. She can move a little bit, move them hips. Um, <laughs> I don't really care to dance, so I'll, I got a mean fist bump. Oh yeah, he's very Jersey Shore when it comes to that fist bump. Uh, I got a very mean fist pump. That's about it. He's a really good, silly, fun dancer. Like, when we dance to be funny, he's the best. If you wanna have fun with someone at a party, you want Walter, cause he's so funny. <laughs> I love dancing like in the kitchen with him. It's great. Next question. Next question. Yeah. The next question is, where do you get most of your clothes? You have the cutest style. Oh wow! So majority of my clothes come from. Um... I don't think they were talking to him, but <laughs> it was on my Instagram, but. Yes, Ivy, you do have nice style, so tell them where you get your clothes. Um, anywhere I can find a clearance. My style is usually a little bit everywhere, a little bit to the left, a little bit in the middle, a little bit to the right. What does that mean? <laughs> so you gotta have your dress up clothes to the right. You don't need like a huge wardrobe. So where do you get clothes. your dress up clothes from? Uh, I go to H&M. Mm -hmm. They have a pretty good sale. Like whenever they have a good sale, I go to H&M. It can be a little bit 
for this stuff. And when he says he goes to H&M, he means H&M. And I also go to like, Express. I love clothes. Express as well. <laughs> Express is pretty pricey, but it's worth it. We're back. So. Our camera turned off. But he was talking about how he likes shopping at H&M and Express. Yes, those are two places I like shopping at. Express is more of the dress up clothing, of course. Yeah. He got his wedding outfit, his suit from there. I did get my suit. So. So I like Express. I'm a huge online shopper because I don't like going to stores. So I normally do the in-person shopping for him and bring things home. And if he likes it, we keep it. If he doesn't, we take it back. Yeah. Um, and then for my like casual, really, really casual, like, like sweatpants. Shorts, sweatpants, all that usually, you know, come from Marshalls, mm -hmm. TJ Maxx those great stores because I do love my Nike, like my Adidas, all the name brand I like it. So yeah. What about the in-between? What about the jeans and the nice button-ups but like the casual, more so, on the casual side? On the casual side, okay so that's also H&M, PacSign, mm -hmm. mm, I feel like I'm missing a place because I like my floral stuff, I love floral. It's mostly H&M and Paxson. Paxson's kind of his go-to when it comes to the casual. Cause I like different things. Yeah, he likes things that not everyone owns, which is understandable. Mm -hmm. My clothes come from all over. Always the clearance section because cheap clothes aren't, they're not gonna last. Um, but I'm also not about giving an arm and a leg for my clothing. So like the sweater I got on sale at Francesca's, it was ten dollars, I think, originally like forty. Uh, so Francesca's, Altered State, American Eagle, Express for their jeans, and I don't know. I honestly like if I'm at a place where there's a store I've never been to, I'll go in and I'll check it out and I'll check out their clearance because I'm all about trying a new place, having unique stuff. But those are the places that I will go to first normally. Now that we live in Alaska, I'll hit up Old Navy and Old Navy has something that I feel like not everyone who shops at Old Navy would buy, I'll buy it. So that's where my clothes come from. And then my shoes come from everywhere. Like you my have to. Yeah. My shoes come from everywhere. I don't care. Like any store might have some shoes you want. Like. Well, brand wise too, I'm not picky, but my favorite shoes right now are my Doc Martens. I love those shoes. I would wear them all the time, but because it snows, I'm scared that they're gonna get messed up. I need to buy something to seal it so that snow and water doesn't damage the leather, but yeah. Yeah, we love shoes, by the way. She loves shoes more than I do, but. We're getting his shoe game up. I just bought him some Tims the other day. Yeah. Because he's been talking about it for forever. So, yeah, what's the next question? Wait, did you read the last one? No, you read the last one. No, you, oh. Yeah. So it's my turn. So, mm -hmm. mm, story time. How did we meet? Oh, that's going to be a different one because this video is already going to be long. Yeah, but we're not going to talk about that. We're going to do a story but time. But just know we did go to the same high school, so that's like. The... Yeah. Next question is Do we want kids? The answer is yes. We mm -hmm. want a little man genius running around. <laughs> um, hey, 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 hey. You're reading all the questions. No, I've been reading up because the other one I didn't get to do. Okay, if, that, if you want to read another one. All right, and then it was like, when did y'all realize y'all were meant for each other? When I first locked eyes. That's a lie. <laughs> we, we, were, um, we were friends before we started dating. We were actually both dating other people when we first met. And then we got out of those relationships and we did track together, we threw the discus and we were the only two who did it and our school was set up in a way where the discus field was kind of away from the rest of the track and we spent every day together and on my end, that's when we became really good friends. But I'll let Walter finish. She always from, had a thing Hold on. I mean, we shouldn't get, get too much into it because about like, how to like, fall in love or whatever and that's like the question previous to it so we're gonna make this very brief she always had a thing for me i'm gonna be honest she laid eyes on me she's like oh my gosh <laughs> i need him i want him and i'm like duh <laughs> all right that's the end of that one that's but that. us meeting wasn't when we fell in love with each other <laughs> yes that's when she fell in love with me. 
Make you move on to Whatever. It's going to be in another video, but I am going to tell the truth because Walter loves to say that what he just said, and it's not, it's not the truth. So. Thank you. What were your first impressions of Alaska? Oh wow, Alaska. Can I pour this into the high pan? Uh, let me get like enough like solid mini okay. bean this in. Okay. Well, you you seem like you had you already know what you wanted to say. Alaska. I thought it would be very interesting, like just like because the bases I can choose from weren't great. They were very like six bases. One of them was amazing in my eyes, and that's the one I really wanted. Arizona. No, Vermont. There's but, a place mm -hmm. called Burlington, Vermont, and I thought it was one of those Walters now says that it's really a reserves base, but it was the cutest little town. You guys, Google Burlington, Vermont. It's such a sweet little place. I would have loved to have lived there. So my thought was like, Alaska, that's the most different place. And I've always said I want to get as far away from home as possible. And whew, home is forever away. Well. From their angle, this is Florida and over here is Alaska. <laughs> so we're very far away from home, which I'm like, I'm kind of happy for. I mean, I, I love everybody back at home, but I wanted to travel, get away. So um, first impression of Alaska, I would like to. They said, oh, they got 24 hours of darkness in the winter. I'm like, okay, cool. That's not really gonna bother me. They never said anything about 24 hours of sunlight. That's not a lie. That's Leaving out information that nobody Important thinks we need. Important information. <laughs> Who wants to be in a place where it's sunlight for 24 hours? It's beautiful. I love sunlight. It's, I'm mad that it's getting dark earlier, earlier now. It's I beautiful. was really happy with the. I mean, it affects everyone so much that you're told to take vitamin D to help with your mood and your. Um, I don't want to say motivation, but your. I don't know. We're gonna skip over that because I don't. I can't think of a word. <laughs> but yeah, so. My first impression was like it's very beautiful here. Great views are everywhere. You don't have to be in any particular spot to have a beautiful view. Where we live at is beautiful. We have mountains in the back. I think it's overall very beautiful. I my initial thoughts when Walter told me we were moving here was like ugh. I was, <laughs> that stutter speechlessness was exactly how it was. When we touched down, I really liked it because the weather felt like the way Florida feels in the fall, which is just cool, but you can still go outside. You can still, you know, wear shorts. You don't have to wear a sweater or a jacket or sporting even long pants. Like, it's just really comfortable. So that was my first impression, but this is a, a two part question. What are your favorite places? Where are your places? Bleh. Where are your favorite places to go slash slash Things to do in Alaska. Mm, so far, Anchorage is beautiful. Um, it's just a very long drive. It's around like six hours, six and a half. Um, but mm, I can't pinpoint a particular place I love to be. But if I had to, I'm gonna probably say Anchorage because you can go hiking there. They got beautiful views. You can go do like airplane rides and stuff like that. Food is amazing. And if you want to like socialize a little bit more, they have more things you can do there. Cause where we stay at, there's not much you can do. Like they have two malls, actual malls. So you can get like a, a, a different scenery just by driving a mile up the mountain or just staying downtown Anchorage. So yeah, what about you? I do like Anchorage because it is an actual city and has malls and movie theaters and go-karting and David Busters and lots of food. But, so that I don't say Anchorage like you did, I would say Denali because it's really pretty. Very beautiful. I just was really bummed when we went. <laughs> we didn't know, last time we went was last week with my mom and I didn't, none of us knew that Denali kind of shuts down between September and April or May. 
think it's made. Like when we say shut down, we mean nobody's there. Nobody's there. The bathrooms at the at the rest stops are closed. So when I knew I had to pee and there was nowhere to go, I TMI. I was everybody pees, Walter. TMI. <laughs> I was distraught because yeah. I drink a lot of water <laughs> and there was nowhere to go. The only place that was open was the weed dispensary and they did not extend a friendly hand to allow me to use the restroom because I know they had one in the back, but She got some weed. Brownies, Brownies. which you guys will know because you will have seen the video from last week, which is the one of my mom visiting. Um, yes, um, they weren't that good. It's legal here, but the hype just, I thought it was gonna be cooler and better, and it just wasn't. Okay. All right, so yeah. let's let you finish that, then we'll pour it in, and then we'll leave the last three questions. if you guys want a baby i know it's every newlywed's favorite question it really is every newlywed's favorite question because i don't understand why people think that as soon as you have babies i mean as soon as you get married as soon as you get married everyone wants start, a baby yeah you just start pumping out kids what about us especially people in the military the dependent is just gonna pop out babies and that's fine that's great like i love kids we both have established multiple times that we want them but i think whenever the timing is right is when we'll have a kid, right? I agree. Yeah, whether that's this year, next year. Five years. Five years. Hopefully not 10 years. Hopefully not even five years, because five years I'll be 28. Yeah, and so I, we don't want to be wanna, old having yeah. kids. Like. And even if I'm 28 when I have a kid, I don't want to be 28 when I have my first kid. Um, truthfully, I think that I would like to have my first kid by the time I'm 25. And that's two years from now. Are you cool with that? No, I'm cool. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we're going to bake it. We're going to pour it in here first. Bake it, and then we'll be back with our last three questions. Our last three questions are fall themed because when I posted this on my story, I did say that we were going to be carving a pumpkin. Um, so, I guess they, one of my followers took it upon themselves to make it fall themed, which I don't mind at all. I think that's really cute. So, we are going to. Pop this in the oven and we'll be back for the last three questions and show you guys how the pie turned out. And we're back with the finished product. Yes. So, oh, let me show you guys. It's still kind of hot. We sped up the process. You know, you're supposed to wait for this kind of thing to be done and cool down before you try it. But for you guys, we're gonna cut it anyways. No, we shouldn't. Right. It's definitely go. supposed to be cool. I've never had a hot sweet potato pie. Have you? No. You usually eat it when it's room temperature, so. Before we cut it, we're gonna read one of the last three questions that we have. So the first, the third to last question third. is, yes, the third question is, what couple costumes would you guys dress up as? Since, like I said, it was, it was fall theme. This is the fall round, so. That's our first question. Hmm. Would you like me to go first? Yeah. Nah, I think that's too basic. A lot of people have been doing that lately. Do you have an answer or do you have an answer? I, I had an answer, but I feel like it's too basic. So I'm gonna let you go first. My answer is going to be what we were supposed to do last year, which we were supposed to be um, a dead or a zombie bride and groom because Halloween was 12 days before our wedding. So I was like, there's no better time to do this than now. Let me show you guys the picture. 
what you think or you say what you wanted to say. So I want to say we can do Joker and Harley Quinn, but I feel like that's just over it. Like everyone does it. A lot of people have done that, yeah. Um, I can be Toast and she can be Jam. <laughs> Isn't that in the commissary? <laughs> oh. I'm still scrolling, guys. I have a lot of pictures between. Or she can be Toast. I can meet Jam. There's so I, many possibilities. <laughs> yeah, a lot of possibilities. I'm almost there. I'm passing our wedding photos right now. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. Okay, so I was the groom. I mean, I was the groom. I was the bride, but he couldn't find his stuff, so he just wore his work outfit and I did his face. I feel like we look Pretty cool though. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's cut into this pie. Do you want to do the honors? What if you really like jabbed the pie when you were just trying to play around? That would have been sad. We're really full. We just had a amazing meal prepared by my lovely husband. It was lamb mashed potatoes, green beans, peppers, and cherry tomatoes. So we're actually really full. He made, he cut a ginormous slice, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. You can save it. Make sure that when we pull it up, it's not like falling apart and ugly. <laughs> like it is right now. <laughs> this is what happens when you do a seam to five boards ready. But doesn't matter. That's our fault. We're doing it for y'all. We're giving the people what they want. Do you need me to help you? Are you good? Yes, I need help. Here, let me see. Oh, it's so ugly. That's okay. Get in there, get, not on that side, get on, yeah, over there. <laughs> it's mush! <laughs> okay, so. I don't know, it smells amazing. It smells wonderful. So look, this is what we're gonna do. <clears throat> so, it was a terrible cut, by the way. There it I is. I promise <laughs> we will take a picture of it tomorrow. Yes, and I. will put it right. Don't do this. <laughs> don't do this. <laughs> Here or here. I was just gonna say it'll be the thumbnail photo. Cause right now this looks bad. Yeah. But that's okay. Cause we're gonna spice it up. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yes. My turn. My turn. Mm. Mm. Okay. Nice frost. <laughs> it fell off the table. It's okay. This is our house. We make it right. Of course. Hey, Peggy, come clean it. Who? <laughs> oh, I thought He's we had looking at the back door at a chair. So hot. Cheers. It's hot. Okay. I'm gonna eat straight crust. Hmm? You ate straight crust? Yeah. Oh, man. What you eat? I made sure to get a little combo. It's really good. I can't lie. I think that it was good that we put extra nut bag and cinnamon. Don't listen. Don't. Hey, cut that out. We're gonna cut that whole scene out. First of all, this is my YouTube. My YouTube. We're not cutting it out. <laughs> it's really good. I like it hot, even though it looks ugly. Well, when you eat your slices, make sure you warm yours up. I will eat mine it's room temperature. Put a little bit of whipped cream. I might like it room temperature too, but like. I think I had it cold the first time, no? Hmm, room temperature. Oh. oh, next question. We're oh. always enjoying food. <laughs> Sorry. I'll give this a bit one try. <laughs> next one. Wait, what was your answer? Oh, PB, PB and J or whatever. Who likes Halloween more and why? Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna ask you first. I think overall, Actually, okay, so 
I'm not gonna say me and her like to sit more because I feel like, I feel like Nicole reasons. likes it for the decoration. Mm -hmm. And me, I like Halloween for the actual scares. I like, I like, like it's supposed to be spooky. So I like it for the scares. She does not like scary stuff. So we don't watch scary movies together. If I want to watch a scary movie, I go into the basement by myself, tiptoe down. We watch like Adam's Family or Beetlejuice. That's like the extent of my liking scary things. Yeah, like Casper, that might be too much for her. Oh, stop. A ghost. I've seen Casper. I watched when I was little on like the family, ABC family. I'm gonna show you guys the decorations, the DIY decorations that I did. Aren't they so cute? Look at my little ghosts. And the boo. And more little ghosts. And the little skeleton I made. The lights aren't on right now, but I'm pretty proud of this little setup. We're gonna have a little movie night with either Adam's Family or Beetlejuice uh, with some friends so that my little setup gets shown off. But sorry to interrupt you. What were you saying about the difference in why we like Halloween? I like it for scaring people because I think Halloween's great just for them. I don't really like candy, so. Yeah. She likes candy. I got him candy for Halloween one year and it took him a literal year. Like I asked him, I was like, oh, can I get your stocking back for this Christmas? Cause I gave it to him so he could eat all his candy. There was still candy in the stocking one year later. It's crazy. He really doesn't like it that much. Candy's cool, but it's for kids. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I'm gonna sit there and say, neither one looks like it more than the other because she likes it for her reason. I like it for her yeah. reasons. So I'm gonna let you take over. So who do you think like it more? Cause you never say it. I never agree. Oh. Um, if you could scare little kids or scare anybody, <laughs> um, he'd be happy. And sorry, I'm trying to get the soup too off my lap. And I thoroughly enjoy making those little DIYs. So. Okay, moving on. I think this is the last question. Last question. Best thing that we both like about fall. What's your favorite thing about fall? Hmm. The best thing I like about fall is it's cuddle season. I like doing nothing. <laughs> like absolutely nothing. Sometimes. But so I'm gonna say best thing is during fall, you get like being inside a lot, definitely with us being in Alaska. And I love Thanksgiving because you get to be with friends and family. Like all the food, oh my gosh, food, desserts. So that's why I like fall. No wonder you married me because I love fall. Like as soon as fall hits, I'm like, we gotta buy all the goods so we can bake things, and we can make things, and we can eat, and I love fall fashion because you get to be you get to be warm and cozy but still cute. Like the sweater, I found compliments on the sweater, but I feel like I'm in my pajamas when I'm wearing sweaters. So fall fashion and making things is my two favorite reasons to love fall. So that was the QA. Let us know if you like it by giving us a thumbs up and or commenting um and if you want any other q a's if you have any other q a's i guess we're gonna do a how we met and how we knew each other was were the one um since we didn't go too in depth with either of those questions so i'm gonna let my cutie husband sign us out because i know that that's your favorite part of every video because it's my favorite part Wow, that's a lot of pressure. So make sure you like the video, subscribe, and ring that bell. Ring the ding ding ding. Bye guys. Ring the ding ding ding. <laughs> ring the ding ding ding. <laughs>